Hey, welcome to YouTube. Um, today we are uh, I'm trying to migrate my OS, uh, my Windows 7 to, to uh, from one drive to another drive. Doesn't really matter um, which uh, what drive you have. I actually have my C drive here, so I have everything on it. Um, let's see what I have um, installed. Yeah, I have that. Some couple softwares. I don't, I don't know if you can transfer software, but um, the main thing is the OS, the operating system, um, which is Windows 7 here. Uh, I, I just don't want to install it um, as new, but I want to transfer it to new, uh, the new drive, which is, it's not actually shown because I just put it in. So let's go ahead. Uh, that's my new drive I just put in. It's SSD. Um, <coughs> One terabyte SSD. I have uh, 250 gigabyte um, SSD here. I just removed it. So, um, like I have four more drives down here. Uh, one terabyte HHD, three terabyte, and uh, 128, uh, two times 128 gigabyte SSDs. But yeah, just just in case if you want to judge me why he has only one or two drives here. But um, but anyways, let's uh, let's do this. This is the new drive. Um, wait a minute. Um, Format it to a new volume. Let's say we uh, all we need is just click next next um the vo uh, default volume here and um, you know, assign any uh, any letter. I I prefer A uh, and let's say um let's uh Samsung Evo uh, one terabyte SSD. So uh, let's wait for the format to complete. All right. So how do we? See, so once the format is complete, you will see this one. So if, if you go ahead and click the folder, you get this one. Um, but it, if you remember, it was not shown before. Um, but anyways, um, so to transfer um, the file, I mean the OS, you, you need a, we need a software. A software called um, Paragon uh, Disk. Yeah, we run this application. It's called uh, Paragon uh, Migration. Uh, migrate OS to SSD or whatever HHD. Uh, so first time you open it, you just click next, and then uh, you have disk zero. Um, uh, that's our disk, and uh, this is just asking um, which um, what volume you want to use. You want to use all the available space for the partition um, for the OS current OS um, on the old disk, or you want specific. So I want to use all um, all available OS, and then. Um, and say copy this is by the way this is because it's shown just this zero because i have only two disks so this one is um the disk the c drive that my os was installed on and this is the new os but if you have uh, more than one or more than two disks or um, hhds or ssds inside you might have list of drives down here so just select which um, where you want transfer to and if you have uh, more than one os installed on different drives, it would show those lists up here. So uh, you, you gotta pick which OS. Um, it could be uh, Windows 7 or 8 or 10, that depending on what you have on your old disks. So just select them, um, select the one that you want transfer over and select the uh, disk that you want, transfer it to. And then um, just click copy. And yes, of course you wanna format this, um, this it formats, that means everything will be gone um, from the new disk. So um, I, like as you can see i have nothing on it on this one it's just free um but i have like 100 gigs of um, files over here uh, including os <coughs> and um just click next and that does um th and then the software does its job so we'll come back um once it's done all right guys um so it's almost yeah it's almost there about a minute so we can just sit tight and then uh, wait for it that's all we can do uh, so yeah uh once this one is complete we need to restart the pc and uh I like i like that background um so we restart it and reboot it into uh into the new drive which is a drive we will see uh what's over here once this one is done so <laughs> Uh, basically we might have 
the same name uh, could be C drive or AMD but the same name um, we need to rename the new one to something else once this one is done okay uh, let's see all right cool um so we have uh this has been successfully migrated um so next thing you want to do is uh restart your pc and um uh, enter bios depending on what kind of computer you have uh, if it's dell most of the time it's uh, f12 and um uh, i think hp has um f2 or something like that uh no issues uh is f2 and f8 for hp i guess and toshiba is f uh, 8 or F10 something like that so um, the next any anyways the next step is just restart your PC so uh, but before that we will see we have what all right we have only one C drive which is the old one so once we restart we're gonna restart um, the PC into a new one so I'll see you so as you can see I have rebooted my PC into the new drive um, just the one terabyte SSD Samsung Evo um, so this is right here this is where I rebooted it so it wasn't shown um, anything before and the way you can tell this is they have the same name so I renamed this one before and this one was different and now um, they have the same name but this one um, it switched over to C drive and then this one is D drive now but it, this was A drive um, so we can go ahead and rename it we go to your start um, right click on um, your computer and click on manage and disk management and maximize this one all right uh, so this is C drive right click on it um, change, change the drive letter you can change it to C drive or whatever um, or and this one to something else if you want it and um, yeah uh and i think let me see my applications over here so i have almost everything over here i have microsoft office let me open all right so uh, okay so my active this was activated before right it's gone no not problem i mean i can activate it but um if you don't have um if you have single license you want to keep that license before you migrate it because the license will be gone for everything um, but as far as things go like most of softwares are here um, this is so much better than installing new uh, OS on new drive so I hope this helped thank you guys for watching